yeah. red wine is, is I drink red wine because I want to live longer, I want to look younger, that kind of stuff, right? It's working. White is not working. It's working. <laughs> so that was my wine experience there. Meat is definitely good as they describe. I mean, the filet mignon that I ate, it's very lean. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not necessarily it's so, considered good. It's good. There is no fat in it. There is no steroids in it. There is nothing. It's very lean beef. It's how do you the know? Cow that was outside. That Tell was, me how you know there's no steroids. And they don't kill them. They, they don't alive? kill them. You eat it when when it died of natural causes. <laughs> what are you talking about? So, you eat old beef there? Yeah. I'm sorry. That just that's what I was told. <laughs> I think they may be fibbing to you. <laughs> old cows mm -hmm. are like old women. Well, you eat them, you don't them. No. Well, right, you don't do that to either. Groupies? Yeah. Like a table will come in and the girl's off and the groupies are instantly mad that they have to have me <laughs> or someone else because I don't know what they order like the guys behind me. They have their separate checks. They have their eggs a certain way and I never remember and if they get mad I, I can't help it as long as I get the order right. But yes, they're all, we all have a lot of groupies. A lot of people have been here 20 years. I'm the newbie. It's a beautiful diner. You get a morning crowd, they're quiet. They want to read their paper, have their breakfast, be on their way. You get a lunch crowd, office people. Come in, have their lunch, take care of business. And you have dinner people come in, have a glass of wine, maybe a drink, uh, beer here and there. Then you got the bar crowd. After 2 p.m., 2 a.m., I'm sorry. They come in, they, you know, they're all nice and drunk just from the bar, eat a bunch of food, probably 10,000 calories a meal. They head home, go to sleep, and come back in the morning, read the paper, start the day over again. So, this diner has never closed since the day it's open. So, storms, rainstorms, snowstorms. Are there even locks on the doors if it's open 24 hours? They're not. They're not. They are dead locks, but they don't work. The owner, when he opened the diner, said, I don't want locks on it. With locks, that means you have to close. We're never going to close. Yeah. Exactly. Or like we hate when our parents ignore us now. Like now that we're so used to like our moms texting and calling, like we get so mad if they don't answer. Yeah. They give you can and then they freak out if we don't. And then answer. they freak out at us if we don't answer. Oh, that's a big one. That's yeah, a big one. Especially my mom. Especially at when they're out at night and I'm calling or texting and I'm not getting that immediate response. They I get freak. very I get upset and I get angry. Well, it was funny because too, because she and I a couple of weeks ago we were having we, we were having lunch. We've gone shopping, having lunch, and 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 we're you know we're sitting in in the restaurant and her she's looking. She goes, oh no, oh no, oh no, and her phone like died. And so she she I had her undivided attention and we had the most <laughs> lovely of conversations. <laughs> Four. No. It's a nice place, huh? I'll, cut, I'll make the first cut and then you do it. You have to keep learning things as you get older. You can't do it. So. I know you can do it. That's the way to do it. Yes. Keep got moving it. the fork and you're yep. all set. Look at that, you got four pieces of it. Wow. That's terrific. I just wanted to share a memory, if I could. A long time ago, I used to do temp work for offices, and I had to come down to this area. 
Neil was driving me, and we stopped here for some early breakfast. Happened to be the day of the Challenger tragedy. So, you know, everybody says, where were you when this happened? Well, this is where we were when that happened. And some people you never see again at all. They come in one time, they tell you their whole life story in a half hour, and then you never see them again. Yeah, there was a lady, a young girl, a couple months ago. She came in, and the fellow that she was with said, give her anything she wants. This is our last time here. And I thought they were moving away. Come to find out, she was diagnosed with some kind of rare cancer, and they only gave her two months to live. That's, yeah, it was very sad. And I, I went home with that, thinking about that young lady. And it was just a sad thing, you know. And as we speak right now, she's probably passed on already. So. Yeah, my daughter got married uh, last May. Um, I invited uh, quite a few of my customers. Uh, they all came. They had a great time, and they share my happiness. Yes. Well, actually, I had the engagement party here, and it was like a wedding. That's where they all came, because the wedding was in Greece. <laughs> so they couldn't, they were invited, but they, uh, you know, it was a little bit difficult for them to come to the wedding. But the engagement party was, uh, it was very nice. Uh, they took pictures. <laughs> they still talk about it, you know, and uh, I get very um, attached to people and places. So, you know, it's just like, even to go on vacation, I miss the coffee. <laughs> and that's the truth. <laughs> when yeah? you go I, on vacation, I'm, you miss the coffee. Here. Yes, yes. I, I want to come back because I miss the coffee. <laughs> and the people. <laughs> They're coming for years. Years. I can't even count the years. It's got to be 20 years yeah. or longer. We mentioned to you, you know, we had a friendship for over 70 some odd years. We went to the grammar school together in the seventh or eighth grade. And we well, we still... know each other like from late thirties. Oh, we graduated school. Forty, forty-three, right? Yeah. Eight years. From thirty-five to forty-three, that's when we met. Every Friday night, we're here. We come Same here. Same time, we're here like six o'clock every Friday night. And then we come back after the track is over. And we have a dessert. Sometimes later. we're happy and sometimes we're blue. <laughs> Most of the time we're, we're blue. blue. What do you think it is about this place that it makes it so popular and so busy all the time? And well, it's near Giant Stadium. Um, it's got a traditional look to it, and it's been around a long time. you got to remember, he started out as a very, very small place with little boots, and then it, gradually he got really big. That sign that says, Eat Heavy, has been out there for years. What does that mean, by the way? I don't know, it's a Greek thing. My uncle explained to me. In Greek, it's normal, but to like regular people, it's not. Oh, I've been working on a Freedom Tower for two years, and mostly I've been working seven days a week, so, you know, I really don't have time to cook, so when I want to eat my special hamburger, I come here. What, um, what can you tell us about the, the Freedom Tower and the work that you're doing there? It's hard. I mean, it's been seven days a week, really, for over two years. I mean, uh, it's like I'm back in the Marine Corps. I, I work all the time, and then before you know it, you know, you get a weekend off, and it's like coming home on leave. You got to get used to normal life. I'm not going to complain. I'm very happy to be working and stuff. Matter of fact, I brought a Native American Indian here to eat, the TikTok Tiner, and he really liked this place a lot too. Another iron worker? Yeah. What's scaring me is I'm getting ready to retire. I'm at the age to retire, and I'm really going to give up something I love, and it's hard. You know, here, all my life I wanted to be an iron worker, and, uh, you know, I'm not going to have the privilege of work walking the iron anymore. It's going to be gone. But, you know, I have to move on. I'm getting older, my body's hurting, and, uh... What do you think's next for you? 
I don't know, I skydive a lot. I have enough jumps I could be an instructor. Maybe I could uh, become a skydiving instructor or just put my parachute in the back of my car and travel around. It all sounds good to do that, but I ain't too sure if I want to do that either. I don't know why. Maybe, oh, our car was stolen. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Actually, our car was stolen. I don't remember how many years. The car we still have. 89 Chevy. We still and have it. it. We still we have it. We got it back and after a month. And we started to sit over here because it actually was stolen from we still watch that it. area. <laughs> so we started sitting here so we could see it. <laughs> What happened that day? What did you think when you walked outside? I told him to sit down. I said, sit down. You're not going to leave. Our car is not here. <laughs> they left an old, old... Uh, an older Chevy, Chevy at the same year. So we think people that had the old car, the old Chevy, maybe ran out of gas. They parked there and got into ours. <laughs> you kind of yeah, sit here because we want to make sure our car is there. <laughs> Even though it's old. <laughs> I did a couple of uh, trips over to Afghanistan and Iraq. Uh, I was uh, an infantry guy for a while, and then I got smart and changed my MOS to like a support job. When I got out, uh, the military gave me a severance pay, and I traveled around the country. I, I've, I've worked in every job imaginable. Uh, I drove a city bus. I worked in a library. Worked on a dude ranch. I, uh, I help move horses for rodeos. It, you name it. I, I, I was uh, I was an assistant sushi chef at one point. No skills necessary, apparently. That was Wyoming sushi, though. So. before this and what led you to here? Our car kind of automatically comes here. <laughs> we eat here probably five or six times a week. Without exaggeration. And it's just and this is after work. My wife likes to cook so much yeah. that we come. <laughs> the food is good, the service is good, it's quick, it's abundant. What more can you ask for? And it's local. When we were, when we were younger and we had our children, we didn't, we didn't eat out often. I actually cooked. But now it's just the two of us. So it's... And I work in his office. He's still working. <clears throat> So we so town. we can come to the diner. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever thought about it? Have you ever like tallied up what your diner bill might be yes. at the end of the year? You know why? Because, because we put use it on, a credit card. We use the credit card, and so we just talked well, we about just, that. We just hey, mentioned that the other night. I pay the bill, so he doesn't know. He had to ask me. It's it, it's around six hundred a month. That seems, that doesn't seem too bad. That's reasonable, don't you think? Five times a week, yeah. yeah. So what did you say? You asked her. I, I, I want to know how the conversation was. It was, it was a short conversation. It was, okay, now I'm aware. No, he did say we're going to It's not as bad as I thought it might be. We should start eating home more often. So you'll be back tomorrow? Probably more will. More than likely. Have you discussed it already? No. no. Wait by a year. It's the quiet hour right now. For about an hour we get uh, the people coming from the movies, uh, families, usually they get the desserts. And then for about an hour or two, which is about 12 o'clock, uh, 2 o'clock after that, we get the bar crowd people, which come from the local clubs uh, from New York, and they stop at Tic Tac Diner, they stop here. It's a lot of people, and it's a little louder than uh, breakfast or dinner time. They think it's the atmosphere, the atmosphere that's still on the clubs. And they come at the diner and uh, it turns like a half a club diner after <laughs> that hour, I'd say. It's 
two or three o'clock in the morning. Everybody wants something to eat before something they go before home. Something to eat before they go home. It's TikTok. Most of the people are coming from New York. You're on Route 3. Stop in on the way home. Come out the Lincoln Tunnel. Stop right here. I mean, you can't live in North Jersey and not know what TikTok is. It's like handed down. It's like when you first start going out, like you're, you're 21, 22, they tell you, yeah, we're going to stop at TikTok. So you stop at TikTok and it's like handed down. It's, it's, it's a tradition. Yeah, it's a tradition. Brother and sister, I guess you said you don't really see that a lot, but... You know, Older we, brother, younger sister, so I'm a little protective. But we bond. As I get older, it, it kind of like eases away. I stop being a little protective. And it's my little sister, you gotta protect her. I mean, we grew up in Patterson, a little rough city. So I'm the older brother. I got like, hey, you can't do that. No, you can't, you know. So she didn't like it at first, but she grew into it. It's always good to have somebody watching your back. And at first, you kind of like, you know, it's your older brother. Stop it. But, you know, you, you kind of grow into it. You're like, okay, he's only looking out for my best interests. I'd say it's it's like not like the bar scene or any other scene that you're going to go pick up. Most everybody there is into Passionate dancing, about dancing, and that's the first thought. If a romance blossoms out of it, that's fine. But actually, people that I've known that got married out of this whole thing, it's only a few couples, and I've been doing it ten years. So, yeah. it's a, it, it's an odd dance, and that's uh, very sensual because the woman's very close embrace. So, from her point of view, I like what I heard described. It's uh, when she goes into the embrace with you, her eyes close just so she can follow you, and uh, it's as if she's dancing with Casanova. But that that. Very, real close. Yeah. You dance very with central. Casanova? And as soon as the dance ends, I think that's of us that's fair. The switch, the switch lights up. Thank you very much. That's that, it's in. They don't get do an infatuation. No, we were, we had a vote on who was the best dressed woman. Oh. It was unanimous. It was, but don't use no names. <laughs> and not using names, can you describe what this woman looked like? A yes. black so dress. Both both oh, that's outfit. right. See, they she like the black oh. dresses. And nice flowing dress. <laughs> With nice, nice slits and nice yeah. revealed her assets to the fullest. <laughs> I remember this place in the when I was a little kid in the mid fifties. It was like a truck stop. When you're by yourself, you know, you wind up coming to places where you want want to uh, communicate, I guess. Were you ever married? No, I was engaged once, but uh, that didn't work out. That's a long story. But we all have our clouds, you know? Do you consider that a cloud, a cloud period? Yeah, not having a, you know, a significant other. It's a cloud. Other people have clouds in other aspects of their life. You know? Well, I don't think it's normal to be alone, first of all. I don't think uh, the Creator made us to be alone. But as long as you're breathing, you hope, you know? Who knows? This time next year, we get interviewed again. Maybe I won't be alone. You, know, you got to keep hope. A couple day, a couple, let's say weeks ago, I got engaged, but the party was tonight. Party was tonight. The stripper party. The celebration was tonight. And that's exactly my name. You know how home put, homies take into the street club. That's it. That's it. My friends, you know what I'm saying? We had, a, we had a good night. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Paparazzi. I can't give no details like that. We just had a good night in general. Yes. At the end of the night, I ended up with the Alvarado family. And that's all that matters. And that's all he got to say. Because other than that, that, it will become incriminating. What? You don't want to say no more. What? What? This is our, you know what? This, this is, is a real night. 
This is the real knife. This is the That's dot the on top of the eye. So without this dot here, TikTok, there would be no eye. Yep, because now we go home and hit our sex. Yeah, because now we hit our sex. Yeah, we got to hit our sex. I go by the name of Twiggy, and we're at the TikTok in Clifton, New Jersey. It's 5 to 5 a.m., and I'm just hanging out because it's my home away from home. I'm so used to the TikTok, I've been coming here for years. What is it that you like the best? The waitresses, the atmosphere, the people. I'm a chit-chat box. Chit-chat box? Yeah, well, you know, chit-chat, you know? I like to know if my mouth doesn't know how to shut up. I just keep on going. I had a house, I had two beautiful dogs that gave me beautiful puppies. I had money, but since my ex-husband gambled it away and I had to get him out of debt, you know, now I'm broke. Well, some of the girls, you know, if they don't have a ride, whatever, I take them home, you know, and I make a little money on the side so I can put it in my gas tank. I ain't no fool. I gotta make some money on the side. Well, Uncle Sam don't know, ain't gonna hurt him, right? When you do come to eat, what do you order? What's your favorite dish? What do you mean when I come to eat? <laughs> Sweetheart, you need money to eat. So you only come for coffee? Pretty much, yeah. I don't have money to eat, you know, and it costs money, and I'm, I'm having trouble getting my food stamps. I can't even get my food stamps, so. so it like I used to eat dog food, so. You think I'm kidding? Before I went on food stamps? Yeah, because I didn't know I had to go on food stamps. It's pretty good once you get used to it. All people eat dog food if they don't have the money. Are you pulling my leg? Huh? Are you being serious or are you pulling my leg about this? About the dog do, you, do you see me uh, laughing about it right now? Not at all. But then I guess I am serious. I don't pull punches, pal. Yeah, I love it. I love this place. You know, they have great food. You know, when I do eat, you know, I usually like um, Santa Fe omelet. They still have uh, Santa Fe omelet, right? That's what I used to eat because I like avocados. I love avocados. Uh, it's a bomb. Seven days a week. What is it about the TikTok diner that you like so much that you eat here seven days a week? Well, the fact that it's open 24-7, I can come in 4 o'clock in the morning if I'm hungry. I'm retired, so I can come in any time of the night. Um, I noticed that you have your silverware on a plastic thing. Oh, I bring that in myself. It's just a quirk of mine, you know. Nobody else does that. I mean. <laughs> Is that your silverware as well? Or? No, 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 no. It's a TikTok silverware. This is just my plot, you know. It's uh, cellophane, that's all. What, do you mind sharing? What is it about? What is this? Well, so I don't put, sit it on the counter, you know. That's the, only, that's the only reason. Do you cook it all? Uh, no, no. Do you eat out every meal? Uh, no, I, have, I, I'm, I go to friends' houses, you know, stuff like that. So I eat home, basically, most of the time. What, uh, as a retired man, how do you spend your time, your free time during the day? Well, I'm on the internet a lot, you know, and I, and I record uh, films, stuff like that. So that keeps me occupied, basically. And because you get up so early, do you go to bed early? Yeah. How early is early? Sometimes I go as early as 6 o'clock. <laughs> Sometimes, yeah. In the summertime, the sun's still shining until like now. Yeah, well, you know, I, I have some wine, I pass out, you know. <laughs> what can I say? It's, uh...